Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another little three color painting challenge video. Well, not really, but that's basically what it is. I was asked by a client to donate some artwork for a fundraiser slash auction that they're having for their school, and I kind of just indulged in that and made a couple of pieces and messed up a lot in the process, which was just as fun, but whatever. I ended up enjoying how this one came out, but I didn't enjoy that I was out in the cold for what was basically an hour, two hours or so. And the only reason I didn't enjoy it because my hands froze. As much as I love the cold, uh, once it actually starts affecting my hands, uh, I got to go back inside. But, you know, whatever. It, it was all right. But I got a lot more work in this painting than I thought I would within an hour and a half. But I think that's just because I'm, I'm so good at painting. I, I'm pretty sure it's just because I got used to painting the way that I did and I already kind of knew how everything wanted to be. So as I made myself more comfortable back inside, I ended up just, you know, finishing all the other good stuff. Painting around the edges, which is the hardest part of doing this type of painting. But as I go into the inking stage, I cover everything up mostly. But it's, it's, it, eh. Sometimes when you look at it, or at least when I'm looking at it now, it actually looks a lot better with the white highlights going around the hair. But because hair is so hard to paint and draw, sometimes it's uh, uh, you gotta you gotta do something with that. I got a whiteout marker now that I think about it. I should have uh, did something like that. I will do that next time now that I'm thinking about it. Somebody remind me or not? Not too sure. It was pretty fun. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too sure why, but this this inking stage in particular for this painting, as compared to a couple of other ones that I've done, was a lot more. Uh, poppable than I thought it was going to be. What I mean is that the ink work ended up popping, or at least making the hair look like it was raising off of the page for me. I'm not too sure if you can see that on camera, especially once we get to that part, but it was it was very interesting. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. The only thing I can really say now is that I hope my client actually likes this piece because it was again enjoyable to watch myself do. I don't know what I just said. It was enjoyable to paint. Uh, still trying to get orange skin down because I have no idea how to use orange. As we come to a close, uh, enjoy this little peeling segment of the paint because I know there are freaks out there in this world, me included, <coughs> who enjoy the peeling of the paint. So enjoy this real quick. Yeah, I hope you like that. That was uh, satisfying. But here we are. Here's the finished piece. I actually liked how everything came out. And also like the, uh, the the frame that I added after the fact. Pretty fun. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider giving it a like, a comment, all that good stuff. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Share it. All the other stuff that the YouTubers harass you to do, including myself. And I'll catch you in the next video, which is just the first abstract painting that I did for this one that I do not feel like editing, but we'll get to that part. Anyway, check you all later.